here's our agenda for the next hopefully 30 minutes or so is nothing other than we want to share with you guys basically what we do um, share with you the insight as to how we do what we do how we've turned this into or how this is a business how it functions all the ins and outs really shine light on things that you're probably curious about right and maybe put aside some of those uh some of those concerns but really get you in a place where you just maybe ponder some questions maybe ask yourself some questions ask the person that told you about this broadcast the questions to allow yourself to recognize whether or not what we do makes sense for you or it doesn't and that's really where the agenda is that's that's all it gets down to i know that i had a ton of questions um a ton of of what i know now is to be misconceptions i just didn't know it at the time and i constantly find myself even looking back and going oh my gosh I, I totally used to think that, not even realizing that I thought that, right, that I had these thoughts. So I find myself doing it all the time. So it's like, okay, let's just put it out there and let you guys, this is what we do. A little bit of backstage pass, a little bit of insight um, to help you guys maybe figure out if it makes sense for you, like I said. So um, most important thing that, uh, that I want to explain in this is really what we're doing with this and, and who we kind of want to work with. And at the end of the day, I want to make sure that people kind of understand it. We're here to share this information because we want to inspire people really to recognize that this option is available for them too. And, you know, Alicia and myself and, and my wife have been coaching for a long time now. I mean, a long, <laughs> a long time, long enough to be very aware and to recognize that the people that we want to work with are people that a you know believe in in Beachbody as, as a company and the programs and the workouts and all that great stuff that we get to take part in the tools that we get to utilize to help people um, but also the people that believe in us and if you've followed us any of us or the coach that that uh, the person that told you about this you know that you believe in them and that you know hey there's a little bit of trust there that you've been maybe following them long enough to know who they are and what they're truly all about and people that believe in themselves Right? People that are, have a strong belief in their ability to do things and to, to put themselves out there and to push past the mental barriers that we, we all have. I, I have them. Alicia has them. Deanna has Everybody has them, right? So it's really that's kind of who we're, we're talking to and, and, and what we want to, uh, to really kind of pull from you guys, if that kind of makes sense. I don't know. Um, let me really quickly uh, introduce Alicia here because... I know that some of the people that know me or know Deanna or some other people might not know who she is. So let me kind of break it down. Um, Alicia, first of all, is a wife, right? She's a mom to two awesome little twin girls that we just actually spent some time in Mexico with not too long ago. Um, she is a hardcore foodie. So, okay, guys, the way I met Alicia originally, um, Alicia's father is probably one of the most amazing chefs that I have ever seen in my entire life. Like, he's legit. This guy is like, amazing amazing and my father and his and, and him have been longtime friends and alicia's been actually a client i own a hair salon as well and i'm a stylist alicia's been a client of mine for oh my gosh i don't know how many years um i've known her way too long to talk about because it just makes me feel really old <laughs> really what it gets down to right but i've known her for a long time and then we came into contact um through through the salon and through the friendship of our parents but then really as far as the coaching perspective um, we came into contact at one point when I was doing a workout and she happened to be doing the same one. And we started talking about it while we were, while I was cutting her hair one day. And then at some point in that conversation over a couple months, cause it was two it was different conversations. Um, she actually started talking about this incredible opportunity that is coaching. And uh, um, I'll be upfront and frank with you guys. I said no to it for a long time. I don't talk about that all the time, but I did. I was like, no, I was like, I shut her down and then now look at me. Now I'm like the biggest like fanboy ever, right? But Alicia's been an incredible mentor um, to Deanna and myself and uh, just to the team in general. And so I'm really, really excited to be on this with her and to share with you guys um, really kind of what we do, you know? Absolutely. I think it's just amazing that a friendship from our fathers has led to you and I working together. And, and I can still remember that day. I was a brand new baby coach. I had no idea what I was doing. I was terrified, but I was so excited about the potential for this business and where I saw it going. And in talking to Justin, I was getting my hair cut and he's sharing about how excited he is about these products and how they're changing his life and changing his fitness in a way that, you know, going to the gym and being obsessed with his nutrition never had before. And inside, I'm just like, oh my gosh, this guy would be such a great coach. But how am I going to ask him? Like, 
like you said, I'm just a mom, you know, I'm like, I still had weight to lose. I'm like flying by the seat of my pants. I don't know anything about fitness. And here's Justin, who's like, you know, I've looked up to for so long, obviously very into fitness, very fit, kind of intimidating. And I'm like, who am I to ask him? But that's the amazing thing about this business that you'll find is you don't have to be the expert. I'm not a trainer. I'm not a nutritionist. I, I, I'm not any of those. I'm just me. And as you'll see through the course of this video, that's what coaching is really about. It's about being the best version of you. And so when I saw Justin so excited, so passionate about coaching, it was like, or I mean about the products. It was like, gosh, this guy would be such an incredible coach. And it has been my honor and my privilege to be able to build this business with him and Deanna side by side over the years. He is such an incredible man, such an amazing leader. What he stands for and what he brings to his team and to his family and to his friends is so inspiring. He and Deanna just lead with so much heart and so much integrity and so much passion and drive and belief. It just constantly inspires me to up my game and to step up. And over the four years, he and Deanna have built an amazing business and have impacted hundreds and hundreds of lives. And it's just so amazing to have people like this in your life. So I just want to share with you guys a little mm -hmm. bit about how I got started with, with Beachbody. So my story started really years and years ago when I, you know, had my twins, gained like 70 pounds, and I finally got to the point where I was like, I've got to get this baby weight off, right? Like something's got to give. None of my clothes fit. I'm still wearing maternity clothes and my kids are a year and a half. Like this is just unacceptable. And so I wanted to change, but for so long I was the like proverbial quitter, right? I, <laughs> my very first experience with Beachbody programs, not gonna lie, I borrowed P90X from a friend. I did one workout and I was like, are you kidding me? Who is this crazy Tony guy? I'm dying. I gave it back to my friend and that was that. Then I think I got insanity at like a garage sale. I made it a week. I quit that. I have like every Jillian Michaels DVD there ever is and I would get all inspired you know by by the infomercial and I would do a week and then I would quit and so my weight was just always fluctuating if you guys have ever had this happen to you if you've been like a proverbial starter and quitter comment below let me know that you're not you know, I'm not alone here so anyways I I got to the end of like a holiday binge fest. Do you know what I'm talking about? It's the one that starts at like Halloween and you go all the way through New Year's Eve and you realize like, oh my gosh, I'm like, you wake up from the sugar coma and I'm like, I have to do something. And so we started looking for a cleanse, some kind of cleanse or detox because who doesn't want to do that at the beginning of a new year, right? Mm -hmm. And being raised by um, a naturopathic doctor, I have done a lot of cleanses, a lot of detoxes in my day, right? And so I, I just did a bunch of research like Google, right? How do we find anything else out these days? And I found something called the Ultimate Reset. And it was a 21-day detox cleanse. And if you know me, I'm kind of like a, let's just do it, right? Let's just go all in. Yeah, 21-day vegan cleanse, bring it. I've been eating nothing but sugar and carbs for three months, but why not? And so I got this program and I did it like full, full out, beginning to end, day one through day 21. And I had the most amazing results. Like I lost 10 pounds. I felt better than I ever had in my entire life. And I was so impressed with the quality of that program and the quality of the product and the thought that went into the creation of it and how the entire thing from the foods you were eating to the supplements you were taking to how you were going throughout your day. I was so impressed with the quality that I just thought, wow, the, the company and the people behind this product must be really amazing. 
And so I went looking, you know, what else do you have? I wanted to keep the weight loss coming, right? And so I found something called a 21 day fix. And I did that, like I actually finished it 21 days. And it was simple workouts, right? 30 minutes a day, I could do it at home. And even though I was not in shape, remember holiday binge fest, I could do it, right? And I, I went 21 days, I lost another seven pounds. And I'm like, wow, this is awesome. And then at the same time, my friend reached out to me and she said, hey, do you know that there's actually a business opportunity associated with these products? And I'm like, no, <laughs> how would I know this? I didn't have a coach. I didn't know anything about this. I was just passionate about the programs and the products. And, and so she said, you know, I think you should really look into this. And honestly, I blew her off. <laughs> like Justin said, I blew her off because I had a lot of my own fears my own reservations, my own sort of um, preconceived ideas of what this was actually about. And I pushed it aside and I said, no thanks. But she kept asking and she kept asking. And it turns out that I fully believe that the universe puts things in front of you at the right time when you are ready. And it just so happens that at this time, I was feeling really frustrated with my current job. I was feeling stuck in the nine to five life. Um, I was you know, working a nine to five office job, commuting, trying to be a mom, trying to be a wife, and just feeling myself stuck in a place that I didn't want to be. But I also felt like I didn't have a way out because we still needed the income, right? Even though my husband and I were both working really hard, there still was never any extra at the end of the month. And so I didn't see a way out of my current situation. And so the more this coaching thing kept being presented to me, the more I kept thinking, well, maybe this actually could be the answer to what I'm looking for. And so I hopped on the call, a call with my current coach, and that was it. She painted a picture for me of what was possible for this, and I just went all in. And I just said, why not me? You know, if she can change her life, if she can make six figures at this, and she's just a hot mess mom like me, why can't I do it? Now, I know I have gone a little long, <laughs> so I'm gonna turn it back over to Justin and let him share his personal story about how he got started with Beachbody. I don't think you went long at all. No, absolutely, guys. I mean, it's, it's funny because I think what you would hear if you talk to a bunch of different coaches, right? If you talk to like a, a span of them, you'd find that everybody's story is there's a lot of stories that are very kind of similar in many ways, but most people's stories are completely different. You know, that's why if you look at our team now, I mean, it's not just one type of person in any way, shape or form. I and mean, we've got doctors, personal trainers, massage therapists, you know, lawyers, people going hair salons, hairstylists, stay at home moms. I mean, like you name it, right? So the, all the stories are so, so different, but they do stem from one kind of place. And it was the same kind of place that I, that I found myself in, which is exactly the same place that Alicia found herself in. Um, I was always in the fitness, like, like, you know, I mean, sorry, like Alicia said, I've always, I've been in the fitness for years, right? I grew up very skinny. It bugged me. You know, I, I, I felt very insecure about that, you know? And so I decided I'm going to get bigger. I can't get taller. I'm short too. So I figured I'd get wider. Right. And so I went to the gym and I hit the gym really hard. And, and I learned a lot over 15 years of being in the gym, but for whatever reason, something always stuck with me. And it was the fact that the nutrition portion or what, there's something, there was a miss. I couldn't get to look the way I wanted to look. It was, and it was really frustrating. And uh, so I was actually, my, my wife, this is a very long story short, but my wife said to me one day, hey, how would you like to do this, this workout with me? And I thought I wanted her to be more into health and fitness because as we age, folks, you know, like I wanted us to grow together, not to grow apart. I didn't want to be active and her not to be or vice versa, right? So when she said that, I immediately said, yeah, because I don't know the way to encourage you to appropriately work out and eat healthy. So if this could get you a habit, I'll do these little funny at home workouts. And then I'll go back to the gym and do my real workouts. And that was all fun and games until I actually did one of the workouts. And we started two weeks into it. I kept on going, kept on going. And at the end of that 90 days, I felt and looked better than I'd ever felt and looked, period. And that's just all there was to it. And so it was interesting to me because at that same time, I spent about two years um, as a hair salon owner and as a stylist. There's a few things like I love to travel. I love to travel. And I, you know, I, I want something more for our family. I'd love to be able to move and be able to be mobile, like live where I want to live, depending on what we're doing. Right. And not be kind of grounded to, I mean, I like the Pacific Northwest, but guys, it rains too much. And let's be honest, I'm a sun worshiper. So I need to get out. Right. I'm like, am I the only one? Like, come on, there's guys somewhere else here that, that worships the sun and needs to see some light. Right. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> so, uh, uh, 
so I was looking for something that I could tell the commute with. But at the end of the day, I barely graduated high school. When, when I say I barely graduated, I mean, I quite literally down to the last row. I, I didn't honestly know if I was going to open up my diploma or open up my little thing and see a graduation like a diploma or not. I legitimately didn't know. It was terrible. I was like, oh, gosh. Right. And so I don't it wasn't like I went into Harry because my parents had salons. It wasn't like I had people beating down my door for some corporate job. Right. And I didn't know where I was going to find it. So basically, I'm either an entrepreneur or I'm a stylist. That was my mindset. Right. And I didn't really have the money to start something that was really expensive. And I didn't have the time because, you know, as a salon owner and as a stylist and having a busy family, I don't have time to be adding a bunch of stuff to my schedule. And so there's all these little check boxes that needed to happen for me to find this other opportunity, right? That would then allow me at some day to actually quit doing hair and move on and be able to telecommute and do stuff for my wife. And every time it was, it was cracking me up because I, I was against the workouts, best results I ever got. I was against the opportunity. Right. And, but then when I now look back to it, I go, oh my gosh, it checked every single box on that list. And even though I knew that, even though I was looking for it, it just wasn't, it wasn't for me forever. It wasn't until Alicia uh, finally came in the second time and she, and she invited me and she talked to me about it and she kind of presented the idea to me. And I, I, I guys, I'll tell you, I, I gotta be honest. I don't truly, I don't really know why I said yes. I really don't. Like I, I've said that before. I'm like, I don't know what it was that made me say yes. I just find a thought, why not? Let, let's let's do it. I'm already doing it. like at the end of the day, what we find and what you guys will hear in a little bit is what we do on a day to day basis. I was already doing what we do. I was already excited about the results. I was already telling everybody about it in the exact same way that if you went to a restaurant and you loved the restaurant, you're going to share it with everybody because you love it. Right. <clears throat> the exact same thing. I was doing it. I just didn't know I was doing it. And so for whatever reason, Alicia said, hey, here's the deal. Da, da, da. I said, sure. Why not? Let's go for it, right? Not really even knowing what I was getting myself into. Having no idea the impact that it would have on my life, on Deanna's life, on countless other lives, too, of our friends that we have met over in the community that we've built through the last four years. I mean, it's, it's absolutely such an, a profound thing to think back now and look at the kind of the, the – the, the route that this whole story took when I was like, I was against, I was against Shakeology because of this and that, like every single, I was, I was totally every single thing you could imagine. I was against it all. And every single step of the way it's turned me around. And now I'm like, Oh my gosh, how did I, so nobody can ever say I'm against it and have me look at it and go, yeah, I get it. Like I fully get it. You can't tell me that, <laughs> you know what I mean? Any, anything you come up with. Yeah, I know I was there hundred percent. I was there. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's, that's, that's my, you know, that, that's my kind of personal story, but you're probably really curious as to just, okay, well then great. You know, this is all cute. You guys found this great little business that you guys get to build and create freedom and, you know, travel and stuff. Yay. What do you actually like literally do? Right. So Alicia, why don't you share like, so we've got four things guys that we do every single day. And I don't know if you, if you, if you know me and you've watched my posts and I'm sure Alicia said the same thing we've said before, you've seen us say, look, this is not a, a, a difficult business. This is a very simple business. It is not always easy and do not get that twisted. There is work involved. This is a, this is just like any other business, right? Anything with amazing reward also has amazing work, right? So there's stuff that gets involved. Let's not be twisted about it, but it's very simple. So there's four simple things that we do every single day. And Alicia, if you want to share the first couple and then I'll kind of break out the second, the last two. Absolutely. Yeah. So like Justin was saying, we have what we call our four vital behaviors that we do every day as a coach. And we call them vital because each one of them is vital to your business. So just like really any other business, you're going to have things that move your business forward that if you do every single day, you're going to have a successful business. And so I'm going to share the first two with you. The first one is my very favorite, mm -hmm. and it's called be a product of the product. And why I love this is basically because it's saying it's your job to be as healthy and happy as possible. I mean, amazing. It's literally in the job description. Every day, we want you to work out. We want you to drink an amazing superfood shake. And we want you to be the best version of you every single day. I mean, who doesn't want to do that, <laughs> right? And so, like I shared with you, my first program was the Ultimate Reset. And then I went into the 21-Day Fix. And now, if you follow me, you've seen I've had amazing results with 80-Day Obsession. And like I shared in the beginning with my journey, I used to be the starter and this quitter over and over and over again. And it wasn't until coaching 
and actually having it in my job description to be consistent with my workouts, to take care of myself, to take care of my health, that I actually stayed and am here four years later, still pushing play, still drinking an amazing shake, still <laughs> fueling my body with healthy foods. And now, you know, if you follow my Instagram stories, I have my mom crack every morning, another one of our amazing products. We have a kid's shake that my kids drink every single day after school. And so I know even if they want to have you know, crap later, they got something amazing in their little bodies. And so that is the number one thing that we do as a coach. We push play on a workout, we fuel our bodies, and we make sure that we are the healthiest and the happiest version of ourselves every single day. And we share about that on social media. So I'm sure if you follow me or you follow Justin, you see that reflected in our news feed. And it's not just there for, you know, for the fact that we love taking selfies, because trust me, neither Justin or I love taking selfies, but it's there because we're showing that these products work. We're showing that if you work out with our trainers, if you follow our nutritionist meal plan, you are gonna have amazing results. So that's the number one thing that we do every single day is make sure that we're the healthiest, happiest version of ourselves. Now, the second vital behavior is the one that has changed my life the most. And that is personal development. Now, I don't know what your beliefs are or any of that. Maybe you think personal development is a bunch of woo-woo like horseshit, you know? <laughs> Sorry. You know? Yeah, Justin said I did too. Um, whatever your views are, if you want to grow as a person, if you want to change your life, you're probably going to have to change the thoughts in your head because that is what truly dictates what we do or what we don't do every single day. So if you have limitations around, you know, your ability to do X, Y, Z, and you're not okay with that, right? Right. Personal development is going to help you work through those. The woman I am today is not the woman I was four years ago. I would not be able to get on video and talk to complete strangers four years ago. I am naturally a huge introvert. For the longest time, I didn't think that anybody wanted to hear what I had to say. I didn't think my opinion mattered. I didn't think I could be an entrepreneur. That was for other people, not me. And it was because of personal development that I was able to work through and work past and evolve beyond those fears and those limitations that I had. And it doesn't mean that I'm perfect right now and I'm like totally fearless. Of course not. I'm human. But we now have tools that every single day we are growing our mindset. We are growing ourselves as people. And whether that's learning new business skills, whether that's helping me become a better mom, a better parent to my kids, a better wife to my husband, a better daughter to my parents, it impacts every single part of your life. So we're basically saying, not only do we want you to be in the best shape of your life, the best health of your life, we also want you to be healthy and happy on the inside. And so those are the first two vital behaviors is truly to be the best version of you, the most well-rounded, happiest, most evolved, most badass version of yourself that you can be. Now, Justin, why don't you share about the second two vital behaviors? Yeah, guys. So as, as Alicia said, absolutely dead on, right? It, the, the product of the product idea, the working on yourself idea. Is, is such a vital, vitally important aspect of this because realistically, it really, it does, we need, to, we need to lead from the front line, right? We can't tell people to do something or talk about something if we ourselves are not being those people as well, right? And it's actually funny because Deanna, that you kind of brought up, Deanna was one of those people that she was not, it was actually once she became a coach, then had people looking at her, right, for, for um, inspiration, if you will, that actually she got into fitness. She was not into fitness. Even after going to the product program, she did not truly become into fitness until that came into her life. And that's really kind of what we get into with the, with the last two things. 
the first of those last two is recognition, right? Re recognizing and rewards. And if you follow us and you know what we do, we, we facilitate private um, online health and fitness groups where we all follow programs and nutrition plans. And the group is really just about, um, I say facilitate because really as coaches, we facilitate the group and our job in the group is to do the workouts ourselves because we need all the help we can get as well to stay accountable, right? And to be there for other people and support them in their own journeys, right? And as we do that, guys, we're not asking you in these groups to do simple stuff, right? Like we're not giving you a pill and saying, you're just going to look different because you're taking this pill. Here's the magic pill, lose weight. We're asking you to do the hard work. We're asking you to move your body, right? To get up even when you don't want to. That's why she was talking about personal development, right? To push yourself in ways that you might've even thought you couldn't push yourself, right? We're asking you to do the things, follow a nutrition plan and eat healthy when you know what? Sometimes I don't want to eat pizza. <laughs> That's it, right? Just pizza, right? <laughs> like there are days where you just don't want to do it. And we're asking you to show up and do those things anyway. And when you ask somebody to do that, you have to A, lead from the front line and do that yourself. But also when they do that, when they do a good job, they deserve an a, a amount of recognition for that. They deserve to be kind of spotlighted for that, to be rewarded for that, to, to be, you know, given a high five for that. And that's really what we do. Like a very vital thing to our business is that we recognize people for their accomplishments. Maybe it's somebody in one of our groups that's getting incredible results. Maybe it's somebody in one of our groups that just is doing something they didn't even think they would be able to do. Maybe it's just a non-scale victory that they just showed up and they did, you know, they, they showed up today and it's the third day in a row and that's the most they've ever done in consecutive, you know, in a consecutive time, right? It's giving them that recognition that they deserve and that they've earned. And then there's also the reward aspect of it. And the reward aspect goes way into like, you know, I got to be honest, Beachbody's been really good to us. Um, the fact of the matter is, if, if you do your best to help inspire other people to make positive changes in their lives, Beachbody says thank you and they reward you. And we've, we, I, I don't even know how many trips, I think we've been on what, six, six vacations because of, of Beachbody right now, right? So six vacations that we've earned purely because we had a desire in our heart to not just connect somebody with the program, but to support them and really truly try our very best to help them stay accountable so that they can get the best results they possibly could get. And in turn, getting that from them as well, right? Because this is kind of almost a selfish game in some ways. I feel almost bad, but it's true, right? So there's that reward system as well. In fact, actually, we just um, announced last night to our team, Alicia and myself and Deanna just announced to our team that we'll be taking some lucky people to Cabo San Lucas next January, right? So there's the reward system that goes in. And, and I just personally, I think it's amazing that that is part of a vital behavior, like not taking people to Cabo, but like rewarding people through recognition, just really like lifting people up. That's a vital behavior. That's one of the things we have to do as often as possible every day, right? To just share your love and support for the people that you're around, which to me just says so much about the community and the people you surround yourself with and the people that you bring into your circle, right? If you're constantly spending your day trying to lift people up, guess what? You're going to be at a higher frequency, if you will, right? You're going to be at a higher level every day because you're not going to be constantly thinking about pushing people down, you're thinking about how do I lift people up and inspire them and, and, and pat them on the back for work well done, right? So that's a big deal to me. Um, the other absolutely vital thing that we do is we share with people through online, right? We share with them what we're doing, what we're posting online, but we also share with them the opportunity that they have, right? And we invite them to join us in these groups, right? And I'll liken it like this because it's the easiest way for me to really kind of get people's minds around how we do this. Because I'll be frank, guys, this was probably one of my bigger fears is how does that look when you're talking to people about joining a group with you or, 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 join, or locking arms with you and, and working into these things? And I didn't know what it looked like. And I'll explain exactly how it was because there's a lot of broad ways to do it. And there's the way that we do it, which I believe is the right way. It's the way that resonates the most with me. And it basically looks like this. Imagine that you go to a, a, an amazing steak restaurant, right? Or a restaurant, whatever it is, right? Amazing restaurant. And you love it. It's the best experience you've ever had at a restaurant. It's the most incredible food you've ever had. Naturally, like I said before, I was sharing those, the, the work on stuff because I got incredible results. I was sharing those things because I felt so passionate about it. You would share the restaurant in the same manner, right? You would look at your friend. If you walk into a party and you got a bunch of friends there, right? And a few of you guys decide to go to this said steak restaurant after you leave, you're going to look over at the other friend that's standing in the corner and it's going to be awkward if you don't say, hey, I don't know if you are interested, but we're going to go grab a steak. Love to have you join us if it's something that you want to do, right? 
that's the that's the mode that we invite. So we invite people in that framework to join us, and that's it. And then at the end of the day, people either want to go to a steak restaurant, they don't want to go. That's fine. In the same way that we're we're sharing this with you guys right now, we're sharing with it, and you're gonna listen to this, and you're gonna make some same some judgment calls or whatever it is to, to figure out if this makes sense for you. And it either is or it isn't. And that is like, there's nothing wrong with your decision on that. It's got to be right for you in the same way that these programs have to be right for whoever you were speaking to in the same way that they had to be right for me when I started them, for my wife, when she started them, for Alicia, when she started, right? It all has to be at the right time. So it's never any, uh, anything that we lead with pressure. It never, it's never anything that we lead with just, you know, talking to somebody we've never met before and just saying, hey, do this with me. Like, that's craziness. That's not how it works but it is vital that we allow people to know and recognize, hey, yes, you see me sharing online. Yes, you see me doing these workouts. Yes, you see me getting incredible results. Yes, you see me feeling great and sharing that with you. And yes, these tools can work for you too. And we've got a group to support you while you're using them. Because if you don't let them know, people don't know. They're not supposed to, right? So it's our job to not hold this opportunity in our mouths and to share it and say, hey, there's an incredible restaurant. You should check it out. It's so good, you're gonna love it. That's what we do, right? So those are, the, uh, those are the, the four vital things that we do every single day. I know, I can guarantee, if you're anything like me or anything like Alicia or any other coach I know, you probably have a lot of maybe thoughts or misconceptions, I would say, to be completely frank, um, with what this really truly is. So I'm gonna let you, Alicia, just, let's just go for it and start breaking some of them down because I already know where they're at, right? Awesome. Yeah, I'm super excited to talk about this because like I shared in my story, I had a lot of objections, a lot of my own fears, a lot of my own reservations that as I've been a coach for four years, I have found that most people have. So my very first fear or reason for saying no was I thought I wasn't fit enough to be a coach. I wasn't at my goal weight. I mean, who even knows what the goal weight anyways? But I, I didn't feel like I was fit enough. You know, I'm looking at all those fitspo girls on Instagram and I'm like, well, I don't look like that. How am I supposed to be a health and fitness coach? But that's the amazing thing. Like I shared about in the beginning, we are not the experts. We are not the personal trainers. We are not the nutritionists. We are just people who have had amazing experiences with this product and want to help other people as well. And so because of that, it doesn't matter where you're at in your journey. You are perfectly made right now, right as you are, to be an amazing coach. Like really just let that sink in for a minute because it is 100% true. People actually enjoy following the journey. And I think a lot of people think, you know, okay, I need to do a program, whether it's a 21 day program or it's 60 or 80 days. And I need to have this big transformation that I can share with people. So I need to wait until I'm all the way done, but they're actually missing out on the most valuable part. And that is sharing the journey and taking people along with you on the journey. Because I can tell you, I'm four years in, I've had ups and downs and highs and lows, but it doesn't matter because being a coach is not about being perfect. You guys share, you know, you know, I, and I know Justin does too. We share all of it. We share our good days, our hard days, our fun days, our struggle days, because that's life and fitness and health. It doesn't have an end goal. It doesn't have an end date or an expiration date because it's a, a lifestyle, right? It's something that you do forever. And so there is no reason to wait until you're at the end because ideally you'll never reach the end. So you do not have to be at your goal weight. You don't have to be a trainer. You can be. We have some incredible coaches on our team who are trainers or yoga instructors, but you don't have to be. So I hope that helps you understand the idea that you are perfectly made right as you are right now to be an amazing coach. Now, the next one that had me saying no and running for the hills was, I don't want to be a salesperson. I don't want to be that person who walks into a room and everybody's like, oh shit, Alicia's here. She's going to sell me a bag of powder, right? Like, come on. Nobody 
nobody wants to be that person. Nobody wants to think like, oh, maybe Aunt Sally's not going to invite me to Thanksgiving because she's going to, you know, I'm going to make her work out, right? Like, that is not what this is about. But I know I had that big fear in the beginning. See, my husband sells boats for a living. He's actually the sales manager at an amazing boat dealership. And he is incredible at sales. So good. It sometimes pisses me off because he's really good at arguments. You know, like, man, sometimes he even has me convinced because he's really good. Me, I'm an introvert. I feel like I never get the right words out. I never know what to say in the moment. I don't know how to sell anything, but I am passionate and I am excited and I am like hell bent for action, want to change my life and I want to change yours too. And that's what it's about. We are not here to try and sell anybody on anything they don't want or they don't need. We are not here to convince or to conjole or to drag or to push. We are simply here to be that light for people, to show them what is possible, to show them that if it works for me, it can work for you. If I can do it, you can do it. And then it's up to them to decide if it's a good fit. So we are not salespeople. We are sharing people. And that I was so happy and once I figured out it wasn't about sales I was like all right I'm in sign me up now the next one I had this fear too <laughs> was that okay I see you growing your business on social media I don't know a thing about social media me too girl I had no Instagram I had about maybe 200 friends on Facebook because I was totally the girl who would go through my friends list and be like, I haven't talked to you in two years, unfriend, unfriend. Who are you, unfriend? And I'd be on Facebook maybe randomly to share pictures of my kids or relatives, you know, who weren't in town. And that was the extent of my social media knowledge. Like I said, I hated taking selfies. <laughs> like videos of myself, are you kidding me? Please, no. So I was hardly on social media at all. So the idea of me being a social media influencer was like, are you kidding me? Um, but I trusted my coach and I trusted that if she could do it too, I could do it too. And that's really how it grew one day at a time, one friend at a time, one post at a time. That's how I grew my social media from where I am now to thousands and thousands and thousands of followers. It was simply being consistent with those vital behaviors every single day. All right, the other um, idea, right, is I don't have a large enough circle. I don't have enough friends, right? So how am I gonna help people if I don't even know people to help? Okay, again, let me just give you a little backstory. I'm from an extremely small town here in Oregon. I went to a school growing up of about 30 people I homeschooled through most of high school. I went to college and met my husband in my sophomore year. So pretty much stopped expanding my friends at that point. I've never been that girl who had a big network of girlfriends. I just didn't. I was always the girl like out with my horses or playing with my dogs. So when I got signed up, I was like, um, I don't know who's gonna join me because I don't really have a whole lot of friends. But that is where the power of social media comes in. Because even if it was just me, I knew there were so many other women out there just like me looking for a solution. And if I could just find them and show them that it was working for me, a crazy hot mess mom with twin toddlers at home working a nine to five, it could work for them. And again, that's how I grew my network, how I grew my team, how I've been able to help hundreds of women is through social media. So it doesn't matter where you live. It doesn't matter how many friends you currently have. If you are somebody who wants more, who wants to change lives, who is willing to be coachable and willing to learn and willing to work, because hello, anything worth having is going to take work, you can absolutely be an amazing coach. Now, again, you're probably thinking, all right, so I get it. 
you have your four vital behaviors, you're not a salesperson. I can start right now, no matter where I'm at, but I am really freaking busy. Can I get an amen? Who watching right now is busy? Everybody, okay? Like, seriously, I don't meet a single person who you're like, hey, Susie, how's your day today? And she's like, oh, you know, I've just been uh, laying by the pool all day and, you know, sipping on cocktails. I don't really have anything going on. No, everybody is busy. But what I've come to find as well is everyone's version of busy is their own reality. And if you want something bad enough, you will find the time to make it happen. Guys, there's stuff in my life that I crush and there's stuff in my life that I suck at. Like my landscaping, if you drove my, by my house, you might think nobody lives here, it's that bad. <laughs> because I've had to prioritize, right? When I got started as a coach, I stopped watching all my Netflix because I realized it was okay if I didn't know what Olivia Pope was up to this week, I could spend that time working my business. And that's what we really help you do as coaches because we know everybody is busy. Most coaches who join our team are already working a full-time job. They're already parents or partners, or maybe they're going to school too, and they don't have a lot of time. And so we teach you how to be effective in little, what we call like power pockets of time. Like I shared, I was working a nine to five job and a mom of twins and a wife and volunteering at my kid's preschool. So I would literally wake up in the morning. I would do about half an hour of work. I would do my workout, get my kids to school. And then I would drive to work. And as I'm driving, I would use my time effectively. I would listen to trainings. I would do personal development. I would have calls with my coaches. Then I get to work, I do my work. And on my lunch hour, I would do a little power pocket, maybe 30 minutes. And then I would drive home. I would do all the mom stuff, right? So it's like dinner and the bath and the bed. And then I would do a little bit more. And so those little bits of time when before I would either have been sleeping or <laughs> scrolling social media, cause we all do it or watching Netflix, I used to build my business because I was willing to do what most people won't, which is make small sacrifices in the moment to have what most people don't in the future. And I hope that you will make that same decision today because that's the thing about time, right? It goes, whatever way we spend it, every single day we wake up, we have the same amount of time every single day. But when the day is done, that time is gone. We don't get it back. So we have to choose if what we're doing right now today is leading us to the future that we want. So now I bet what you're thinking is, okay, how do you actually turn selfies on social and working out and being healthy into the kind of income that allows you to quit your full-time job and do this from home. So Justin, why don't you uh, fill them in on how we actually earn an income? Absolutely, guys. Oh, and I'm going to start by saying, uh, um, to be completely frank with you guys, I didn't know, when, when I decided to be a coach, A, I didn't even know any of this stuff. And it took me like six months before I really truly recognized, like I sat in that kind of circle of, yeah, 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 I've heard that people can do well, but I don't know that I can do well. And that was a very real fear. That was a very real concern. That was a very real self-limiting belief that I had about myself, 1000%. I still struggle with it on a day-to-day -day basis, right? I think we all do. None of us are at a place where we just think, hey, I can do everything every single day. We all have those moments where we, we guess, we, we second guess ourselves, right? And, but then there became a time, and I, I mean, I won't get into the story now, but I remember the exact moment actually in time, I'll never forget it, that I fully recognized, oh my gosh, like I heard what can happen, but no, no, I, I can do this. Like I, like Deanna, me, like we, like anyone, like this can be done. Wait a minute. And it's, it was the day that everything flipped around and we really started kind of approaching this from a, a, a true business perspective. And guys, at the end of the day, that's what it is, right? It is a business. It's an incredibly rewarding. It's an incredibly fun. It's incredibly exciting and, and 
and it builds such incredible opportunities, right? It's, it's an amazing business like that, but it's still a business. And just like Alicia said, anything that, that yields amazing results takes a lot of work, right? There is a definite work behind it. So I definitely don't want to start you guys off on the mindset that, hey, you're just going to be an overnight millionaire. It's not how it works. Okay? <laughs> and if that's your mindset, let me be very frank, actually, if that's your mindset that you're just going to, you think this is a get rich quick thing or something, I don't know that this is the right thing for you. In fact, I, I don't think that you really should. I mean, I would either maybe look into a little bit more, kind of get a little bit more insight, but if that's what you're looking for, you're not going to like this because it's not how it functions. And it, it actually takes just like losing weight or just like putting on muscle. It takes effort, right? And it takes consistent effort. And that's really what this is about. So let me just kind of break that off, first of all, because I think that that needs to be said, if I'm honest. Um, so there are different ways we can pay. In fact, there's a ton of them, and I'm not even going to explain all of them. I would, I would tell you this. If you want to know deep knowledge about how that works, reach out to the person that told you about this, reach out to myself, to Deanna, to Alicia, whoever, and we can give you some more insight into how it, because I literally, guys, if I broke it all down, it's going to go over our heads. It goes over my head and I've been doing this for four years. And this is like my favorite part is the business. Side. <laughs> it's just like, there's a lot of ways. Um, first of all, you do, you earn 25 to 40% commission. So there's a commission involved with any product that you connect somebody with. Okay. So there's definitely that, but this is what I love. And it was basically what Alicia said, where part of what she was talking about on, uh, on really like how this functions, right. And maybe some of her concerns and one of her biggest concerns is like, I want to be a salesman. And that was a major thing with me too. My clients at the salon are very aware. If you've been my client for any more than once, you realize I do not tell you about a product unless I know for 1000% it's going to work on your hair and that you need it because the second I tell you something and you don't need it, you're not going to trust me. And I need you to trust me because me telling you, Hey, if I tell you, you need it, it's because you need it. It's going to make my job and your, and your life a lot easier. Otherwise you don't trust me. Then you don't listen to me. And then we have a hard time and it's much harder for me to do your hair. Right? So I've always been like that. It's just been who I am at the core. So that's a big concern for me is like, I don't want to make people think I'm going to sell them a bunch of stuff or be a pushy, like it's not my game. And that's what I love about this because in most, most often, okay, in sales, when you sell something and you connect somebody with whatever it is, that's basically when your relationship kind of stops. They go, they use said thing or whatever, and it's done. That's the moment that ours begins. That's the moment that we then get to say, okay, now I've connected you with this, you know, this workout, right? I've connected you with this nutrition plan. I've connected you with Shakeology, this incredible, you know, superfood, right? I've connected you with these things to help you have the tool set to change yourself and to achieve the goals that you want, not that I want, but that you want. I've connected you with these things. Now, I'm not going to tell you to go use them. I'm going to say, now let's plug you into this private group. And when I do that, we're going to work together. And if I do that together with you and I can, and I, and I, and I check in on you and I pour myself into this, right? And I really support you with the, with the help of everybody else in the group and all the other team leaders we've got in the group, right? If we all band together, lock arms and support each other, this is what organically happens. What tends to happen is exactly what happened with Alicia. It's exactly what happened with me. They start getting results. And guess what happens when you get results? You fall in love with something because results are incredibly motivating, right? Like you start to really see the value in it. And when people see the value, very often they kind of organically become, you know, somebody that wants to pay it forward the same way that we did. And when we do that, basically what we're doing is we're being able to, ex we're building a business and we're being able to extend our reach. And as long as we can extend our reach, Beachbody says, hey, you know what? We've got this mission that is to help people live healthier, more fulfilling lives and to end the trend of obesity that is taking over this nation. We've got this mission and you are helping to further that mission. And so for that, we want to give you a little bonus. So thank you. And so you get what they call team bonus cycles, right? Bonus bonuses that, that happen every week, right? So every week you're getting these bonuses. So you're getting commission, then you get bonus. You also have matching bonuses, right? And matching bonuses are basically means that you're become you're helping people become leaders, right? You're helping people become leaders that are also extending that reach, right? And then every quarter they have quarterly bonuses, which basically means, hey, look, now you're a leader. You're leading, you're showing up, you're doing what you have to do. You're creating this incredible opportunity, not only for yourself, but for other people too. And when you do that, they're giving you these every three months. It's like, hey, there you go, a little extra, right? Like, I honestly, I could go on and on and on, but at the end of the day, at the kind of core, that's basically where it comes from. But if you really want to talk, those are different ways. If you really want to talk, how do we truly earn money? Well, this is basically it. You just do what I just told you to do. You work on yourself, right? You get good results. You connect somebody with the tool that will help them achieve 
their goals, not yours, which means that you have to learn about them, learn their goals, right? That you have to connect with them and create relationship with them. And then when you do that, you support them and you just support them when they need help up, right? You high five them when they are doing really well, right? And you just create community. You live life with them. You do life and you do fitness with them. And then when you do that, they are naturally going to say, I want to give other people the same feeling. I want to pay this forward. And that's truly what happened with us. That's what happens with our, that's what happened with our team, right? That's what happens. And then when you help them do what you're doing, which is creating more financial opportunity for yourself, Beachbody's just going to say, there you go. You deserve a thank you. And we, you deserve a reward. And that's how we earn. That's, that's an over level, right? So that's, that's high level. If you want to, like I said, any, informa any more information, do not hesitate, reach out. I'll tell you now, especially Alicia, myself, Kiana, and whoever told you about this, we are open books. There's nothing that we're going to hide. Reach out and we will tell you everything. It just goes really, really, really deep. If I try to explain it on here, we'll be here for an hour and then you'll be like, okay, I'm bored. <laughs> but that, that is exactly, um, speaking of actually helping people be natural ambassadors and helping people kind of share the word more. Do you want to talk about a little bit about kind of what happens when somebody actually does connect? Like, do they have help training? What? Yes, absolutely. So you're probably wondering like, okay, this is great, but how do I actually learn how to do this, right? Do I just sign up and then it's like, see you later, have fun, good luck with that. Absolutely not. It couldn't be more opposite. We have the most amazing training to help you go from day one, not knowing anything about this business, how to be on social media, how to do what we do, to feeling empowered and excited and ready and knowing what to do every single day. So I'm totally a systems girl. I was the girl as a kid who would line up all my crayons from color gradient and size and I'd line up my little ponies. And, and so I love to have systems, strategic systems. And so that's what we have really created in a training for our team. So when you sign up, you get an amazing welcome letter from your coach and you get a PDF that says, all right, you're a brand new coach. Your day one starts on Monday. This is exactly what you're going to do in your first seven days. These are the goals that you want to reach. And then this is what you're going to do on day one. This is exactly how to do it from day one through day seven, through two weeks, through 30 days. So there's never a day that goes by that you're like, what should I do today? Um, I have these big goals. I have these big dreams, but I don't really know how to make them happen. No, we lay it all out for you. So it's really easy for you to know exactly what to do. And now not only from our team, do we have an amazing training? We also have the best trainings from corporate, from the company itself. And that's one thing I just love about this company because I feel like in the corporate world, it's so competitive, right? So if you're doing really well, you're probably not going to go shouting it from the rooftops and telling all your buddies your secrets and your, your strategies, right? Because you're like, I'm trying to advance here, right? I want to go up in the company. I'm going to keep all my tips to myself. But with what we do, it couldn't be more opposite. We have like the best coaches people who are crushing it on Instagram. They come in, they tell you exactly what they're doing, how they're doing it. People who are having amazing success, helping people get results, they come in and tell you exactly what they're doing. Every single coach, instead of trying to sort of like squash everybody else's potential and success, they want to help you. They want to uplift you. I can't tell you how much help I have gotten from coaches in the years who are not on my team, who are in no way impacted by my success, but they wanted to help because that's what we do as coaches. We help people. And so when you join our team, we are gonna link arms with you and you are gonna have so much support from one-on-one -on -one calls to being in message pods with other coaches who are in the same place as you, from being on our team page, from getting to go to quarterly events, to yearly events, to amazing retreats that we hold. You have all the tools, all the support, everything that you could ever want or need to know exactly what to do and how to do to grow your business. So Justin, 
tell them what are their next steps if they're wanting to get started as a coach or join one of our health and fitness challenges. Absolutely. Yeah. So basically, like, like Alicia just said, there's guys, there's different formats to which you can, you can jump on board with something like this. Right. And so there's going to be some people that say, you know what, I just want to be, I just want to start out by just jump. Maybe I've never done one of these workouts before. Maybe I've never been in a group. Maybe I've done a workout, but I've never been in a group. Right. And so in that scenario, that's, there might be a situation where they're like, I don't know that. Yeah. Coaching sounds great, but I don't know that I have a love and a passion for these workouts and nutrition plan or for Shakeology or whatever it is. So I want to get my feet wet by jumping in a group and just, let me just see how this rolls, right? You know, let me just see how I feel. Let me see how it impacts me. Because at the end of the day, guys, I'll be the first one to say, if you don't find passion in the way, the tools that we have to help people, then you're going to have to sell things, right? The reason that we, like I said before, the reason that we don't sell things is because we are passionate about what we're doing. We find the value in it, right? We've tried everything else. We've, you know, we've gone through the thing. We've realized, oh my gosh, this actually works weird, right? <laughs> it's amazing what eating healthy and moving your body will do. Crazy, right? But I know, right? So if that's your, if that's your scenario, or at the same time, if you're a person and you're like, you know what, I'm ready to rock and I want to start helping people. I mean, you know, I've never even had a program, but I, I think I know, you know, I've, I've watched enough that I know that this is going to be for me. I just have it. Great. We can help you start moving in, start working with the, pro with the products, start going through a workout. We can plug you into a group, see how everything goes. Right. Or maybe your person is like, you know, like I was when I started actually coaching, which was basically, look, this is a business and I want to build something major for myself. And it needs to be big enough to be very frank that it can help me move out of a job that does well for me right now. You know what I mean? Like, so my aim was like, hit the ground running. Let's do this. You know, after we decided this was going to be what we're going to do and we had the potential, it's like, go for it. Whatever spectrum you, you land on, right? If you already are in a group or if you already have, you know, one of the workouts like that, then you're going to reach out to the person that connected you with that. And you're going to ask them, how do I get set up? It's very simple, but it's going to look a little bit different. If you've never done anything before, you've never been in one of the groups, you're going to get connected with something that's called a challenge pack. It's very simple. It's literally an entire year worth online. So think of it as the Netflix of fitness, if you will. It's on demand, every access to every single workout that Beachbody has ever produced, every workout they come out with, in that year that you have your subscription to it, right? Literally all the nutrition plans, so much stupid information, it's ridiculous. You could not do a workout every single day and get them all done on the, get every single one that's out there done in the entire year. Like there's no way you have to do like 10 a day. It's ridiculous. So all the tools you could ever need, you do that for a year, you'll get an entire 30 days of Shakeology, which you're gonna be fueling your body with for 30 days. It took me honestly about, well, it took me about a little over a week before I really actually started noticing the difference. And to be frank, guys, the first time I drank, I didn't like the taste of it. I legit didn't. I was like, eh, this is gross. It wasn't my day. I don't, it just, it just being true, right? But I consistently drank it and I actually found that, you know what? Now I swear by it. I love it. I actually really like the taste, right? And I noticed all the differences in the way I felt. So for me to feel it, it took about a week. So it's going to give you time to drink it consistently, really see how it's affecting your body, see how it's affecting your energy, all the other things that I won't talk about, bowel stuff, <laughs> but regularity stuff that we won't, we won't chat about, but, you know, digestive stuff, stuff we'll put it that way. Um, and it's going to connect you more importantly with everything you need to share this with other people, right? It's going to give you every tool that you would need to share this and actually build a business doing it. That. I think that the, the best option right now, that is 160 bucks. I mean, it's really nothing and you're getting 30 days of Shakeology and an entire year of access to all those workouts that you can do at your house or at the gym or whatever you want. So it's really, really, really very, very simple. All you have to do is just reach out to whoever told you about this, whoever you found this, right? Reach out to me or Alicia or Yana, whatever coach connected you to this and just say, hey, you know what? I think I wanna try this. And here, check this out too. 30 days, you're like, you know what? This really isn't my game. No worries. You get a refund on it. Like, honestly, and I tell people that all the time. I'm probably not supposed to. I feel like people are like, don't tell me. Look, it just is what it is. If you don't feel like it's for you, you return it and get your money back. Like, I'm a big proponent of that. I think that you need to because I don't think that if you're, if you're not into it, you shouldn't be doing it. Like, it's just as simple as that. You've got to love it, right? So give it a shot. But I would challenge you to try it. And say, okay, hey, this is, you know, fully back, money back guarantee, all that great stuff. I'm going to, like, put my little thoughts aside. I'm going to see. Maybe it is great. And, hey, you're totally out of the, out of the uh, concerning, you know, area if, if it doesn't, right? No concern. No. 
I can't think of the word I'm looking for, but you know what I'm trying to say, right? So yeah, I mean, next steps are very simple. Just simple as that. Reach out to the person that, that I do this and uh, we'll get you all the information. Very easy. Absolutely. And now that we have covered all the how to's, I want you to just take a moment and I want you to envision what would your dream life look like if you had all the money that you could ever want and all the time that you could ever want? What would you be doing with your life right now? Like really, really think about that because I think so often as adults, right, we get locked into this pattern of life. And I know the pattern that I got locked into was not taking me in the direction that I wanted to go. And I didn't feel like I had a way to make my dreams happen. So I stopped dreaming. And it wasn't until I talked to my coach and she showed me what was possible that I really started dreaming again. And I started realizing that the life I was living, it was you know, it was great on the outside. I had checked off all the boxes, right? I, I married the, my, the love of my life. I went to college. I bought a house. I had children. But I didn't feel like my life had purpose. And I didn't feel like I had a way of making my dreams come true. And so I stopped dreaming. And I stopped getting excited about my future. Because I thought all the exciting things, all the ch check boxes had already happened. And so when my coach asked me to dream and I woke up that side of me again, that lit a fire in me that has just continued burning and getting bigger ever since. And those are the kind of people we're really looking for. People with big dreams, people who have a vision for their life that they're willing to work for, people who are willing to be pers persistent and patient at the same time. And now every day in every person inside of us, we have these two voices, right? We have one voice that wants to uplift, that wants to expand, that wants us to grow, that wants us to dream and to do and to live the best version of our life that we ever can. And then there's the other voice, the voice that wants to hold us back that wants us to stay complacent, that wants us to stay lazy, that wants us to stay stuck, that restricts our potential. And every day from the moment we wake up until the moment we go to sleep, we have the choice to choose which voice we're going to listen to. And guess which one wins? The one that we give attention to. So what voice are you listening to right now? Is it the voice telling you no, that you can't, that you shouldn't, that you're not enough? Or is it the voice that's trying to speak out, that's trying to make you aware of the awesome potential that you have to not only change your life, but your family's life and generations to come? So I want you to consider listening to that other voice. And if it's talking to you right now, if what we have shared with you has ignited a spark of interest or excitement or hope or whatever, I want you to reach out to either me or Justin or Deanna or whatever coach shared this video with you and just open a conversation. Trust me, we are not here to try and sell you or convince you of anything because guess what we want people on our team who want this as bad as we do so if that's you i encourage you to reach out to your friend to your coach today and have a conversation about your dreams and about how you can get started thank you guys so much for joining us on this live video tonight or for watching the replay we so value your time. We hope you have gained some more insight into coaching and we look forward to talking with you more in the future. Yes, guys. Thank you so much. You guys have a fantastic night. Bye, everybody. Bye.